and welcome back to Chit Chatter Day. I have missed chatting with you guys. I'm so sorry I missed last week. We've just had a lot of things going on and I have once again all my reasons as to why I've been absent. Um, but anyways, I just kind of want to sit back and catch up on life, I guess. I feel like a lot of the things I've been using lately are just on repeat. I've really slowed down how much I have been buying makeup and you've probably noticed that. Uh, I've kind of switched my focus to just investing in skincare and mainly being happy with the makeup that I have. I feel like makeup is one of those things, yes, I love it. And I know a lot of people, they, they buy a lot of makeup and they review a lot of things on here on YouTube. And I would like to continue to do that, but not at the rate in which I had been previously doing it. You know, makeup costs money and there's just a lot of other things that I enjoy besides makeup. So some of these products, like what I just use here, the Ren Perfect Canvas, um, I really like this as a primer. It's silicone free. It doesn't clog my pores. I can break out very easily. And I've noticed when I've used like really heavy primers in conjunction with foundation and powders and SPF and setting sprays and it's hot out and I'm sweating, like it just really creates an issue for my skin not being able to breathe properly. So I love that primer. Now I had a recommendation from one of you. Oh, who was it? I know you will know, <laughs> um, to try the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. So I went to Sephora and I got a sample. I'm in the shade 06 Cashmere. And so if you've been with me, you know that recently I finally pinpointed what it is exactly that caused my face to be chronically broken out. And it is chemical sunscreens. And it took me a really long time to figure that out. I wish I had known sooner, but... <laughs> I guess I was just kind of like a dummy, but it's one of those trial and error things you have to like eliminate and then re-put it on to see what it is that you're allergic to. So she recommended trying this because Bare Minerals is all mineral-based sunscreens in their products. And I have worn this a few times and I have to tell you, I was really impressed with the lasting power of this, the stain power. I don't think I wore this on a super hot day. It's been beautiful here. We've had absolutely the best spring since we've moved here. We've been here a little over two years now, coming up on two and a half years. And this spring was amazing. Just not what it was previous spring. So actually, now that I've been out in the sun a little bit, I hope this color isn't too light. It's fine, it's just a sample. I always get samples of things before I buy them because that way I don't have to deal with buying and returning. Oh my gosh, the finish on this is just, it's so skin-like. Maybe we should zoom you in just a little bit. Don't mind my fun bun and I don't know what is going on here. Like if I'm losing my hairline receding, I don't know what's going on there. Um, I noticed that when I pulled my hair back, all these fun new little changes happen as you get older and it's very gradual, but it's just like suddenly, something new creeps up, right? So anyways, here is what we're working with. I mean, there's my light all the way turned down. Very skin-like. And I'm really into, like I want coverage, right? But I want to be able to be a foot away from somebody in broad daylight and not look like cake face. I really like my skin to still look, you know, just naturally, naturally, enhanced I guess okay and another thing I've been kind of toying with is not wearing concealer let me just take a sip of my coffee here mmm I love coffee this is my favorite creamer the cocoa not cocoa the coffee mate coconut cream creamers hands down my favorite creamer I've ever tried I've darn near tried them all um and so anyways I've been playing around with not wearing concealer because I have just like little fine lines that have shown up. I'm very, I have a lot of expression to my face, which is fine, and just because of my face shape, um, I just have a lot of wrinkling. I mean, my skin just really, <laughs> it really scrunches up, right? And so when I put concealer under there, it just kinda doesn't look very good. And I've also been skipping powder all together. Um, I just haven't been at the level of grease that I used to be. And I'm kind of wondering if it's because I've, like, I was creating more grease because of, like, not having the proper skincare or something. Or maybe just wearing too much makeup. I don't know. But I've been enjoying just a little bit. Like, nothing crazy. Just a little bit of concealer. This is the Infallible Pro Glow 
I like the serum like consistency of this. I'm just going to go ahead and cover up a couple couple blemishes here. We've had a lot of just things going on like life type things and when that happens I really like to pull back from my channel um, because I you know I, I need to have one less distraction I guess it would be and so um, I guess my son on Friday uh, we took him to urgent care he had another ear infection but he had a double ear infection again he's dealt with this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter I'm just gonna do a little cream highlighting he has had ear infections on and off for the past few years. Not terribly consistently, but at least one per year. And I know they have said in, you know, tubes and all that kind of thing. I don't think it's to that degree. It just usually, ha every time he gets a cold, it, it goes into his ears and it causes him to get an ear infection. And uh, those aren't pleasant. And for him, they come on like, I mean, so fast. Like it starts with a fever, but you don't know if it's gonna turn into an ear infection kind of thing. So the problem is you have to wait to the point in which he says, says his ears hurt, right? And then within an hour, he's screaming. So that was last Friday. And so I didn't get a video up Saturday at all. Um, last week was kind of busy. My husband was gone again for work. And usually when he leaves, I I definitely also kind of pull back from my channel, at least initially, just because it's like a shift in, it's a shift in things. And I'm not always prepared for that. It can be, his job's very last minute. It's not always a plan ahead kind of thing. I'm sure all of you military wives can understand, like, when you suddenly go from mom and wife to full-time everything, it's exhausting. It can be, you know, your, emotionally it's more exhausting, physically it's more exhausting. Um, even just like in your mind, like you're alone versus not. And so I like to pull back when that happens. Here's a question that I have for you guys. Have any of you had your eyebrows, um, what is the word, microbladed? Like where they do that semi-permanent thing? I mean, I feel like I might be a good candidate for that because here's my natural brow. Like, it's not full on. Um, it looks okay, like, in person, but I feel like with the lighting and with the lens and, and video and all that, it looks a little bit worse than it actually does. Um, but I think it might be a good candidate for that, but I, I would like to know if any of you have any opinions on that. Like, if you felt it was worth it to get it done, longevity, um, just kind of like your overall experience. And I just really like to get feedback from you guys because, I mean, you if you've done it, I trust your opinion more than just reading some random person online that I have no idea, you know? I have some serious, seriously good May favorites to share, so I'm going to be filming that next week. I guess this upcoming weekend is Memorial Day weekend, so I have, my husband has Monday off and so do the kids, and then Friday he gets off as well. So, I cannot believe it's almost June. Oh my gosh. Kids are going to be out of school soon. I started to think about that. I'm like, man, how am I going to do... How am I going to do s filming again this week, this summer? I forgot to put perfume on today. I'm going to use that Ralph Lauren Tender Romance. This is a good spring-summer perfume because it's very uh, sweet with floral. I don't know. It's really, it's really nice. I hope they make it. I know this a few years ago I had talked about this. I'm trying to use it up because mine's getting darker, which means it's totally t starting to turn. Um, but I bought it a few springs ago. I want to say it was maybe new at that point, but it's a really nice one. Oh, goodness. Okay, we're going to do a little shadow today. I've been also enjoying a very um, barely there eyeshadow look. Like a really nice, pretty, like wet looking lid almost. Not a lot of dark colors. Just something really simple that you can do. Like basically a 10 minute face if I'm going to do makeup at all. I like makeup that enhances you, you know. It's always been my favorite kind of makeup. And I think that's why my favorite makeup style is like a bridal look. Because it, it's like a subtly smokier version of you. Like your best self. Your, but you don't want to look overdone. Alright, so how many of you are mad about Game of Thrones like we are? Gosh, it was just such a disappointment. I mean, all this build-up, I mean, we really feel like they they rushed it. They definitely needed another whole season to finish off the character development. Season 8 had zero character development. And for those of you that don't watch the show, um, 
you should. If you're looking for something to binge, because you know summertime, there's like nothing to watch. However, uh, the next season of Handmaid's Tale comes out. Oh gosh, is that next week already or the week after? Yes, that show is crazy. So that's the next show we're waiting on. We're waiting on Westworld too, that we watch that show. But that won't be till next year. What else are we waiting on? Silicon Valley? I need a little bronzer. I'm just going to grab something here. What do we got here? Let's just use the NARS Oasis. Wayne Goss, uh, number 11. This is the brush that I use for bronzing. It's my favorite. I love his brushes. They are a little bit of an investment. But, you know, if you start poking around at brush prices, they're not terribly priced. And when you love it and you reach for it every day, like, I don't need any other brush for bronzing because this is what I like. This replaced the brush I... Why are we going in and out of focus here? This replaced the brush that I used for years was the Real Techniques Multitask Brush. I still like that brush. But I just like how soft this is against my skin. I'm going to use this Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette today because I know one of you had asked me to do a throwback look with this. And so I like to honor your requests. And let's start off real simple here with something light. Gosh, I don't think I've done a Get Ready With Me since that um, Get Ready With Me fail when Jelena and I tried to film and it was, it didn't work out. <laughs> the focus just didn't work out and I had no idea. That's okay. Um, so I'm going to dip into, I don't know, one of these peach meringue here, this nice matte cream color. This is an all matte palette. Really nice palette. Very well, that's not right. They perform well. They blend out nice. Mine's kind of lost its peach smell, but this is a few years old now at this point. I'm just going to kind of highlight the brow hairs I need to pluck here. One of my favorite, I have two favorite colors in this palette. I love just peachy and peaches and cream because it just, oh, they're just such good peaches. So let's dip into peaches and cream here. Like the little bit more orangey of the two, I'd say if I had to compare the two, just peachy has more pink in it. Okay, I haven't done my eyes on camera in what feels like forever, so... Let me prop my mirror up on something, something, anything. Do you guys have any video requests, anything that you want to see? Please leave me some comments down below. My tank is kind of empty right now. I haven't been feeling as inspired makeup wise. So many things inspire me, but I go in lulls of makeup just because I feel like, okay, I'm not a makeup artist. Um, I don't play in makeup every day, so that doesn't help my confidence in my skill level. I love, I love the after of the makeup, and I go in waves of this. Um, but right now, I'm just feeling not so inspired when it comes to makeup. I mean, spring, summer inspires me so much when it comes to, like, my herb garden and cooking. Cooking is something I do every day, so that... I mean, you probably feel the same way too with cooking though. Like you go in those of like, Ugh, I don't know what to make, we've been making the same things, that kind of thing. I mean, I love these types of videos. These are my favorite videos to watch on YouTube on anybody's channel. I like, the reason I even turn to YouTube is the camaraderie, the conversation, the, you know, people just talking about life, you know. Uh, I feel like television, you don't get that. It's all scripted or... It's all scripted. It's all planned ahead. Like, I feel like there's not a whole lot of TV that's real, you know? Um, and this is... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I edit out the, the lulls and me blending for 15 minutes because I messed up. But other than that, I turn to YouTube for that connection, you know? Oh, I'm dipping into that Just Peachy shade because I just can't help myself. It's so pretty. So I love these types of videos. Now these types of videos on my channel don't really get viewed anymore, which makes me so sad. I don't know how to tell people, hey, these are my favorite. So if you guys like this, give it some action. Maybe that will help everybody know that, hey, you're missing out on a good time over here. I don't know. I can't figure out YouTube. I've been doing this for a little over five years and I still sometimes go through just disappointments. Like how do I make this happen? You know, how do we make more people join in on this fun conversation of girl time. I'm just going to layer the uh, Just Peachy shade on top. Ooh, sorry, bird flew by and caught my eye. I love birds and I need to get some bird seed because I'm out. All right, what am I doing now? I want to deepen this up ever so slightly with the shade Fresh, Fresh Picked. I know we're not going to have a lot of dimension today, but 
my brushes are so dirty that I'm probably going to end up with unwanted dimension just because I need to wash these. I'm going to dip into this nice dark chocolate brown up here. It's called Peach Tart. And I'm going to take a little MAC 212 brush, looks like that. And I'm going to go underneath my eye and just kind of go at my lash line here and use this eyeshadow as a soft eyeliner. Ooh, I need to update. Okay, so that Chanel Cream Eyeliner that I had bought, and I've been wearing that. I really like that. I like the consistency of it. So the thing with those pot eyeliners, or with anything really, you know, they can dry out. I've had many different brands of gel eyeliner and not been impressed with how quickly they dry out. This Chanel one's really nice. It just glides on and I really enjoy applying it with the little, the little stick, not the stick, what is it? The little tiny Chanel brush that it comes with, this eyeliner. It's really nice. It's a nice cream black eyeliner. This little brush comes with it. It's a nice little angled brush so you don't have to go out and buy one. I like having a small brush like that because I can, I, I mean I choke up on my brushes anyways. I know you're not supposed to but I do. And I re can really control and get close to a mirror. Rather than having a long handled brush, you can't get close to a mirror because the brush handle hits the mirror. So I just wanted to tell you that I, I really am enjoying that. But today I'm just gonna, gonna go, gonna, gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a eyeshadow liner because honestly, after I pick up the children, we are going outside for a hike. So uh, me in full glam is a little bit, it's a little much. telling you what my camera just shut off um no idea where we were but I was saying my lashes are straight they're coming at you there's not a whole lot of oomph going on here you know not wispy and fluttery and whatever so I thought well let's give this another go with my you know newer <laughs> lashes however they're not quite at that stage yet but you know what I just realized I forgot to put eyeshadow here well, let's do that real quick. See, I have totally, totally out of the loop of doing this. All right, at this point, how are we going to do this? I'm going to just do a little bit of the peach butter, I guess. Goodness gracious. I guess you couldn't have been able to really tell because it's... I'm just putting a cream shadow on top of there. But for the sake of following all of the steps you're supposed to do while applying makeup... You know why I love the Chanel so much? I'll tell you why. Because it stays on, it doesn't transfer, it holds my curl and my lashes all day. It's kind of a little bugger to get off, but that's why it's so good. That's why it holds the curl, because it actually stays on. I think I felt like this falls, like my lashes fall quickly. They might look pretty initially, but they don't stay that way. And I felt like the mascara kind of disappeared throughout the day. My lashes fell. And this gets gloopy and gloppy so quickly, but I can't complain because between the points and the coupon, I think I paid $4 for two tubes of this, so I figured, well, what the heck, let's just try it. But I don't know. Mascara for me, I'm open to trying new ones all the time. I've tried a lot of different ones, and because they make so many, you kind of feel like you have to at least try another one, and it's one of those products that you go through I spent a lot of money on mascaras and I've also spent, you know, a little bit of money. I prefer to spend a little bit of money on something like this. But at the same time, if the Chanel gets the job done, you're saving money because you're not buying like, you know, five bad ones. You might as well just buy one good one. I'm going to go for Hourglass Diffused Heat, another one of my absolute favorite blushes. And right now it is the time for me to dig out all of my coral and peach blushes. Love the hourglass formulation. Mmm, so good. I also like to put on an obscene amount of blush because I just like to see <laughs> the contour. I like to look in the mirror and see my blush on my face. And I know it's probably a little bit too much, but I myself can sometimes always be a little bit too much. I really don't know what lip to do today. And so I just reach for something I haven't worn in a while just because I'm like, I kind of forgot what this looks like. So, we're going to go with MAC Boldly Bare Lip Pencil, which is so light, this is probably 
pointless and you probably won't even see the color on my naturally very red lips but we're gonna try I don't even know what I'm putting on it's like a peachy rose it's actually kind of a nice color hmm. I like the shade range in the boldly bear lip pencils by Mac I prefer their pro Longwear line because it lasts so much better all right I'm going for Dior lip addict in the shade incognito it comes in one of these not exactly sure if this matches, but kind of don't care that much. So let's do, hmm, a hint of gloss. What happened to this line? The CK Kelvin Klein, remember that at Ulta? I don't know what happened to that, but this is a really great lip color. This is the shade Flirt in the glosses, but I don't think they're a line anymore. Uh, this will go great. Let's just grab this. This is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie. This is ancient. Um, but just grab a peach gloss. This is the shade Party Starter. This is what I'm saying. Like, I have so much makeup, right? And I want to use it because I bought it, right? But then when I share it here, it's like, oh, well, I can't get it. Yeah, but I bought it. And I want to use it. And so then you feel like you can't use it, which is... I can see both sides of the argument, right? But from my side, it's like, well, I spent the money on it. I want to use it. If you can't get it, they make this shade in 30 other brands, 30 plus other brands. You know what I mean? I myself don't care if I can't get the exact product because I can replicate that same shade from something in my collection if I'm watching a video. Or, you know, you don't have to have the exact same thing. Now, this helped. This definitely was the direction I was going feel like I'm a little sassy today like I'm coming back guns blazing thank you guys so much for watching today I enjoyed chatting with you Elsa as usual is here too she's sleeping over there so stinking precious she's always here in every video and I know some of you ask is your kitty there she sure is she's just not always visible uh, but thank you guys for watching I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday if you're watching this on Saturday um, stay tuned I have a lot of really good favorites things that I've been stashing away for a video to share what I've really been using I guess at this point I skipped April two months worth of favorites just things I've been using time and time again on the daily and of some makeup things that are newer to me that I've been loving as well so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and stay tuned for more of these because they're my favorite and I'm going to keep filming them and I'm not going to, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> All right, guys. Love you. Have a great day.